Hello. So, uh, in the previous video, that the link I will give at the end. Uh, so, we uh, tested an FIR filter, which was moving average one. Here, I will use the IP generator of um, of Vivado to uh, replace the moving average filter with an FIR filter. Okay, so the program that is here is the same as before. So you have the main entity and uh, you have the XADC that is inserted as discussed last time and all the necessary signals and uh, instantiation and the process that creates a, uh, a conversion periodic conversion signal which is 100 kilohertz okay now i will add the uh, fir filter so the fir filter is in filters fir compiler okay so uh, the first thing to do is to uh, give the coefficients of the filter okay So to calculate the filter coefficient, I will use MATLAB. And uh, here you will see how to do that. So I uh, use a tool which is called FDA tool, filter design tool. So, uh, so I will maybe, um, I will um, create a bandpass filter. So bandpass. Uh, FIR equal I call uh, so frequency sampling 100 megahertz 100 megahertz uh, okay one sorry 100 kilohertz and uh, maybe here five kilo seven kilohertz uh, nine kilohertz and 11 kilohertz two selective so maybe 13 and 30 filter design okay so this is the filter uh, with the order of 75 uh, 55 sorry 57 <laughs> okay and I export this and so right export and here is my coefficient. So if I draw it, you have the board diagram of the filter. Okay, so this filter I will uh, create with uh, the um, with Uvado. Okay, so max num. Okay, so if I multiply everything by so a equal okay so i uh, multiplied everything by 512 because the maximum value is 38 so from minus 38 until 38 so you need seven bits uh, okay so i have a and this a I can uh, copy and paste in the Vivado. So I already uh, copy and paste on the notepad and with the comma at the end. So I will select everything, copy, and I will put here. Okay. So this is the filter coefficients and what else single rate uh, basic okay so the frequency is 100 megahertz and the clock frequency is uh, 100 kilohertz okay, so it is used for the uh, designer for the vivado to design the right filter and the coefficients 7 bits uh, data 12 bits so if I do that so you have a 22 
full precision, but uh, because my uh, D2A converter is just uh, uh, 8-bit, so I will just use 8-bit. Okay. So here everything is good. Interface. Okay. Okay. Generate. What's in the background? Okay. So the filter is already uh, created. So uh, what should I do is to add to my design. Okay. So IP source. So if I have compiler. This is the component, control C, control V, copy, control V. Okay, so this is the component, and instantiation template is that. Control C, Control V. Okay, the clock is connected to the clock, and the data. The data is here. So the data, maybe I can call it X. I will see later. And the data at the output is called Y. Uh, data ready, so I'm not using it. Open it, it's, it's an output. And p valid is um, uh, end of conversion. End of conversion uh, out. Okay. And uh, so it is, I call it strobe. So I will use it to strobe the signal, to cache the signal. So I must uh, define it. STAB and what else? So X and Y. So X is the input, so the input is how many bits? So input here. So input is 16 bits. I had 12 bits and the output is 8 bits. So output is okay. So I will declare the output. So signal Y is going to output logic vector uh, 7 down to 0 and the same to for x x is of size 15 Okay, maybe I called it X, um, it is another X, no, X, okay. So X is connected to that. Now uh, the X must be injected to the filter. So the filter, uh, so D out is the data that I uh, created and um, I should get it and I should apply it to the filter. Okay, uh, so mm, uh, x is, okay, so x is 12 bits, so 11, but I will maybe create another signal 16 bits, uh, which is connected to connected to uh, the data because uh, it needs 16 bits okay hello so what is it so the, the data getting out from the convert uh, from the from the data converter 
Take the auto, how many bits it is. And the, so, okay, 16 bits. So I need to get my data, real data. So uh, x over 12 bit is my real data is something like uh, do out, but it is 15 bit and the data is right justified. So I need to uh, get only no the data is left justified. Let me check. Yes, the data is list, um, left ju justified, so 15 down to 4. But uh, don't, re don't forget that uh, this data coming from the, um, the XADC is not signed. So to make it signed, so the MSP must be inverted. So uh, data out, out, 15. So not this. Okay, so now it is signed and I can inject it to my uh, to my uh, filter. Okay. Another thing is it is 12 bit and I need uh, 16 bits. So x 16 bits. So this time it is right justified, so I put four zero at the beginning. Okay, so this is the data going through the filter. Okay, and when it goes to the filter, uh, where is the filter? Here. So you have the Y is getting out with this CRV. So I will get my CRV, uh, my, my data. At the output of the filter, so process CLK begin and process if CLK event and CLK JB receives so the same history so uh, Y not Y seven Y okay so it is now signed okay. Uh, so the um, uh, file related to the pins is the same as before. Okay, uh, so it is uh, six down to zero. Okay, so it is good. We are going to generate the PD stream. Okay, let's see if it works or not. Okay, so it is done. Open hardware manager. Open target, auto connect. Ah, there's no, okay, because it is not turned on. So we on, turn on the port. Okay, so it is project manager two. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I Turn off the discovery board. Uh, okay, 
so for example if I put 8 kilohertz okay but if you increase the frequency 9 and 10 11 okay so you can see that it's working or 1 kilohertz okay 1 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 7 kilohertz okay Wait, uh, 6 okay so you have uh, this okay now let, uh, let, let let us see also the board diagram so let's work Okay, so it is uh, very near to what was simulated by MATLAB. Okay, so this concludes our tutorial. Thank you.